you creep, you lunatic! <laughs> you think you're crazy or something? Well, you're not! Creepers! What's up, you crazy creeps? It's Claire Ski and I'm back. How the heck are you guys? So today is a really awesome vlog. I'm excited for this one. Now, if you guys have watched my vlog in the past, we've actually crept to another filming location for the 1975 Jack Nicholson One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. That's right. Right behind me here is the Oregon State Hospital. And we visited Depot Bay not too long ago for another filming location. But this was the main building for basically the entire movie. Now, the facade of the building here in the front has stayed the same. Unfortunately, the J building, which was located off the street right over there behind the second part, just to the right, uh, was torn down years ago. But this front spot here uh, remains the same, and it's actually was used for a couple of the exterior shots and a few of the interior shots. Now, if you look in the front here, the front part here has been all remodeled and redone over the years, which is now a museum. And they have these little turnarounds, which were part of the original building as well. But the front part of the building here is the original facade from the 70s. Um, but if you creep up this way with me, we're going to check out a little piece. So like I said, they have a museum here um, that's usually open to the public. But like I said, if you go up here, you can actually see a little placard here. 1975. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, Oregon Film Trail. The film adapted of Ken Casey's novel starring Jack Nicholson, Louise Fletcher, Will Sampson, and included many patients and staff of the Oregon State Hospital. Production began in January of 1975 at this spot. It went on to win five Oscars in 1976. And then it also says, did you know, Dr. Gene K. Brooks, superintendent of the Oregon State Hospital, saw that the filming here had potential to start a national, a national discussion on mental health. However, Brooks only agreed to filming after he had put a vote to the patients themselves. And then if you look here, there are some classic pictures there of Jack and the nurse. I think it was Miss Ratchet. I think that was her name in the movie. I love the, the characters. Here's the Indian. And like I said, we just visited the spot where Jack took the guys out on the boat. And here's a couple more pictures and whatnot, and the layout. And looks to be like parts of the hospital have stayed the same all these years. If you guys can see here, like I said, it is closed. Um, but if I poke the camera in here a little bit, you can see a little bit of the museum and I believe there is a ton more of the one flew over the cuckoo's nest items and whatnot inside so hopefully at some point we can actually come back and tour it but like I said as of now it's closed so but very cool and I just love the fact that they put these Oregon film trails all over you want to share or any kind of little bits of memories from the movie okay. Oh, from uh, One Flew Over Cuckoo's Nest? Yes, yes, yes. Um, I will say that when I first started, I've been here 22 years. Okay, cool. And when I first started, um, one of the guys here, he was here when they made the movie, and he said they had to remake the, the um, that big tank that the big Indian guy threw to escape. They actually, facilities made that, and they had to remake it like two or three times because it was too heavy for him to lift. So they ended up making it out of balsa wood. Interesting. And he was a big dude. He was a big if dude. If I recall the Indian. He He's one of my dude. favorite characters. Oh, from me Mo. too. We just actually went down to Depot Bay and saw the spot where the Jack took him out on the boat oh, yeah. fishing and stuff. So yeah. very cool. Thank you for that little tidbit, bro. Yeah, absolutely. Appreciate that. That's really cool. You bet. You hear that, guys? That's so cool. He said he's worked here for over 21 years. Just a little bit of, little tidbit of movie magic history right there in front of your eyes. Pretty cool. Thanks again, bro. That was awesome. No Have a good one.
I love that scene. He breaks out. They all go crazy. But yeah, this is so cool to be here. Definitely a part of one of my favorite movies of all time, actually. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Definitely a part of Oregon movie history magic. Um, like I said, the front part of the building here has stayed the same. And these little turnarounds were a part of the opposite side, the J side. Like I said, which was torn down. But the front here remains the same with the museum on the inside. And like I said, the building J there to the left where was most of the interior shots were filmed. But I wanted to also show you guys a couple other pieces of the movie that were paired up here. A couple screenshots here and there um, from the other angles here. So make sure you guys stay tuned and I'm going to throw those in next. And that will probably do it from the Oregon State Hospital, the filming locations, to the 1975 One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Love it. Part of movie magic. Medication time. Yummy. Your hand is staining my window. 